Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today, we have the Honey Badger Worn Cleaver. This is in the large size. This is the D2 model. They do come in several different versions. This particular one is $63. Uh, they also come in uh, a medium version, which is a little bit smaller, obviously. Hence the name, large, medium. And both of those versions also come in 8CR13 blades for a lot cheaper in the $34, $35 range. Uh, but uh, I chose this one. I've never had a large honey badger before. I was really intrigued by the Warren Cleavery blade. Uh, this was not provided by the manufacturer or anything. I just went out and bought one. I think they may have just sent me my last one. I don't remember, but I didn't go out and seek one out that way this time. I just went and bought one, so I want to make sure to get it quick. Right now, they're only available in this blue color. The HCR 13s are available in like a, a tan and a black, I believe, or maybe a green and a black. And there are lots of different honey badgers. Uh, we will we will compare some of them uh, shortly as we go. Really cool little budget knives. They are South African designs, made in China, and sold mostly through uh, WesternActive.com. I will link down below to them. The best place in America to get them. Uh, pretty sweet little knives, I do have to say. I really do like them a lot. I'm just going to give you a spoiler alert. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put in there, but... Uh, one of them's probably going to be in a contender for my budget knife of the year. It may not win, but it's going to be in that top 10 list that I know you guys are all looking for. I'm recording this in uh, early early December of 2019. All right, uh, let's get going with some specs and some size comparisons and all that stuff. We have an overall length of 8.2 inches, blade length of 3.65 inches. You have a blade thickness of, they say 0.12, I measure my calipers, it's it's not, it's a 0.14, which uh, is more what it looks like, handle thickness of 0.51 inches, and a weight of 3.9 ounces, so uh, not not too bad, not too bad for what is essentially a, a budget knife, and a pretty large one at that. Size comparisons, we'll start out with our usual, we're going to do a few this time, because I'm kind of playing with my size comparisons to uh, see a uh, see what ones I want to use. This is against your Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and your Spyderco Para 3. As you can see, it's a, it's a pretty big NAF. It's a, it's not gigantic, but it is pretty large. Uh, next up, something that is probably uh, even more comparable, especially price-wise and use-wise and all that. We're going to do the Ontario Rat Model 1 and the Rat Model 2. So yeah, you see it's, it's it's more rat one size than it is PM2 size. A little bit taller, obviously, in the pocket and all that stuff. And we're going to do just one more, and then we're going to show some of the other, uh, my, my other honey badgers that I have. I have quite a flock of them. We have the, we're going to do the old Benchmade sandwich. This is something I'm working out. Comment down below if you think this is a good comparison. A lot of you guys have Griptilians. This is a full-size Griptilian. And a lot of you guys have Benchmade bug outs, so the bug out. Yeah, it's it's actually not that that much bigger than the full size Griptilian. And now we'll show some of the other honey badgers here. I have a couple more. I've got a I'm trying to find a place to put these over here. I have too many things out right now, which you'll see why in a video coming up shortly. That has a lot of knives in it, so I've, I've I just recorded that one. So I've got a lot of stuff laying around. This is, these are both medium honey badgers. This is the uh, HCR 13 version of the standard drop point blade and the D2 of the same nature. So you can see this one uh, doesn't have the, the ridged, I guess, uh, forward finger trail, which I'm happy about. That's one of the things I didn't like that much about the, the HCR 13 honey badgers is that this can get, this little bit right here can get really, really sharp when you start ridging it like that. This just has a regular smooth front forward finger choil, like that a lot. The regular uh, drop point honey badger doesn't have a forward finger choil at all in, in D2 if you go for that, that route. But yeah, pretty similar overall other than that. D2 blade, like I said, FRN scales, which, uh, well, not FRN, what do they call them? I think they just call them nylon glass fiber. Either way, it's just fancy plastic one way or the other. But you know what? Uh, they don't feel that bad. I'm not going to say they're the best nylon, glass fiber, FRN, whatever you want to call it, that there is in the market, but they're by no means that, but they're not bad. 
especially for the price that you're getting them for. And on the $34 ones like this, uh, it's the same exact quality. So it, it's probably even a, a better, you know, better value uh, when it comes to that. Um, it's, and it's, as far as quality and stuff, quality control, very good. Dead ass centered. I haven't done anything to this yet. I haven't taken it apart or anything. Very, very good. Everything's nicely chamfered. There's nothing sharp that you don't want to be. You know, the blade is, but the rest of it is all fine. I really have no complaints. And nice, some nice little touches, like <clears throat> how they do the uh, pocket clip. We'll talk more about this when we get to the carry, but you see the pocket clip kind of goes inside and you get the screws through the top, which basically means you have recessed screws, which is really nice. It is right hand, left hand carry. Um, the lanyard hole doesn't really get in the way. A, a, a very good design on the handle, I do have to say. And this honeycomb, you know, going with the honey badger thing, gives you some good grip. Again, we'll talk more about that. And the packaging is really cool. Uh, this is what it comes in, honey badger. This is new. My other ones never didn't have this little pull tab on them. Uh, I like that a lot. And it's even got a little picture on the end of it of exactly the color one you got and everything. And you slide it out. It comes in a nice padded package. A little do not eat me's and stuff. A nice little tool to take it apart with. Uh, it comes with their little business card, the warranty information, all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty nice. I, I, is there a sticker in there? I don't remember. I didn't open this one up. I, I know I have a Honey Badger sticker. I don't know where I got it from. Uh, it wasn't from the knives. I must have picked it up somewhere else. But <clears throat> very nice packaging, if you care about that. Pretty, pretty cool. How about this knife? The blade. They call it a worn cleaver, which I have to say is a... Uh, it's, it's a pretty accurate description of it. It's a bit worn cliffy, a bit cleavery, a bit sheep's footy. Uh, it, whatever it is, I like it. It's great to use. Been using it the last few days, and it's it's it works really well. About twenty one thousandths behind the edge, not bad at all. Like I said, uh, it does say that it's um, uh, zero point one two inches on the website. It is that it's more like zero point one four, but I still find it to be a pretty decent slicer. It's not fantastic, but it's pretty good. Edge was really good out of the box. It, that's perfectly fine. It wasn't like the sharpest thing I've ever had out of the box, but it was pretty darn good. Tip also, not something you're going to snap off super easily, so that's really nice to see. D2, uh, I've had no problems with the Honey Badger D2. I've only got uh, the one that I have, the, the black one I showed you a minute ago. It hasn't gone through a ton of use, but it's gone through enough that I, I think I think it's probably pretty decent. Um I can't make a full judgment on it, but it seems to be okay. Uh, and D2, people are like, yeah, it's going to rust it. It's not. We've been through this a thousand times. Put some EDCI on it. I've already done that on this one yeah, because I know I'm going to keep this one for a while because I really like it. Spoiler alert. And it, they're fine. Uh, I live in upstate New York. It's not like a horribly humid environment, but it, it gets wet here, but not humid. And um, if that makes any sense. And it, it's been fine. Uh, as far as the ergonomics go, really good. I've always liked the ergonomics on the Honey Badgers. This is the same handle shape as the others, and in the large size, it's just even better. I've never had a large one before, and it's just, it fits really well. I like this little ramp up here. If you grab it like a standard saber grip, jimping in just the right place, and this nice little ramp, really, really, really good. If you really want to bear down on something, you can choke up. Uh, this isn't a huge forward finger choil. My skinny little fingers work perfectly fine with no danger whatsoever. I can use it all I want. But if you have really chubby fingers, yeah, you're probably not going to want to use that. But that's perfectly fine. Uh, this this is really grippy. Works really well. This thing ain't going nowhere in your hand. And it's comfortable. Zero hot spots. Excellent, excellent, excellent ergonomics on this. Really, really impressed with that. Never had a large one before. Always like the medium. This is even better. As far as the carry goes, uh, this is probably where my biggest complaint is with this. Uh, only because it's not bad, but it would be easy to fix. So the pocket clip lands right on this honeycomb stuff. I think I said this about the other D2 review too when I did that. I do like that the pocket screws are recessed. That's really nice. I, I like the deep carry clip. They have a very nice clip. By the way, I like the design change they made on the clip. Now it just has has this little, this little honey badger on it in, instead of what the old one was. And that's really cute. I like that. The old ones had uh, writing on them. It said Honey Badger, you know, FMD2 Black, whatever. It said the model number and stuff on it. I like this a lot better. I think that looks cool. But uh, 
it does, it's landing on that, that texture. And it doesn't make it impossible to get in and out of the pocket. It's actually fine. These are super thick jeans. I'm actually thinking about, these may have a very brief life. I may get something that's not quite as bad as these. These are Dickies work pants and they, they're very difficult to get stuff in and out of, but I thought that would be a good idea. Maybe it isn't. Um, but the problem I have with it is there's an easy solution to this and they've already done it on the other side. Uh, just put the logo just like, uh, here, we'll show you the pair of three. That's what Spyderco does. The pocket clip lands on the logo. So you're not rubbing against that rough honeycomb texture. You're rubbing against the logo instead. I don't know why they didn't do that. I think they'd have to move it up just a hair. But yeah, why don't you just move it a quarter inch this way and put it on both sides? And then you wouldn't have this problem. It would be completely fine. And I can't imagine that would cost anything extra once you're doing all these, you know, doing the the molds and all that stuff. Just switch it. And that would be, that would totally alleviate that problem. It doesn't carry horribly. It is pretty tall, as you can see. It's it's not quite a pocket dominator, but you can see it from where you stand. And, and you know, it does a bit of flipper tab sticking out. Not too bad. That's not egregious at all. I can't really complain too much about that. But yeah, I just move this to there and put it on both sides and it would carry a whole lot better as far as just getting it in and out of your pocket. Again, it's not horrible, but something to keep in mind. The action on it, though, is uh, that's why we love honey badgers because they're inexpensive and they act like this. That's, again, I've never torn this thing apart. It's probably only been flipped maybe maybe a hundred times and yeah that's just good it, the action on these things they act like infinitely more expensive knives and i think that's why people love them so much if you just want a cheap budget flippy toy it's really hard to go wrong with the honey badger let's bring out the bring out the medium d2 because that one probably has the most most miles on it yeah it just falls this one will do that once it gets broken in more. Like I said, it's only got probably got 100, 150 flips on it. And this one I know I did tear apart. They're all like this. I know this one's going to be like that too. It's the action on thing, on these things is just, just nuts. I don't, I, I, it's amazing. For the price they are, they're great. And that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm going to leave it, except for the fact that now you're up into 63 bucks. It, it, Honey Badgers originally were all 8CR 13MOV and they were like 30 bucks and everybody loved them and we all freaked out about them. People bought them, modified them, all that stuff. But I got 63 bucks for this. I want to say this one was in the 50s, uh, 57 maybe, something like that. Um, yeah, they're getting into uh, a territory where there are a lot of options. But I will say, if you want something just a bit more unique and something with impeccable action, uh, this is this is still an excellent option. And I love the shape of this blade. I just think it looks cool. Um, and it seems to be useful just using it around. And yeah, that action is just, by the way, yes, you can spidey flick it, thumb flick it, all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, yeah, I, I do really, really like it. They're just charming. I don't know what, how else to put it. They're charming knives. It's just, yeah, honey badger don't care, all that stuff. You know, they're just charming. I just really like them. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.